Hey there everybody, Decaf here. Um, today I want to show you how to install Blender on your Windows machine. Um, I am using uh, this XP uh, computer just for a little while. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and show you how to do this. Uh, so first thing you need to do is download the YS Paint Kit. I have that in the description down below. Uh, so just unzip that and you'll get the YS Paint Kit. And handily enough, right inside is a folder called EXEs to install. And if we open this up, we have Blender, Python, and Active Perl, which means we don't need to download uh, any Blender stuff or anything like that. We have all that we need right here. So go ahead and run these installers. It'll take a little bit, depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, it should work for uh, up to Windows 7. I don't know about Windows 8, uh, just because that's a little bit weird <laughs> uh, with the... Uh, weird interface. So go ahead and install those. Uh, once you do, uh, you'll get your little Blender um, uh, uh, alias here, your little shortcut. Uh, but now we want to go ahead and install the scripts so that we can import DNM files and SRFs and all those good things. So what you're going to want to do is uh, go and try to find a scripts folder for Blender. Now, if we go in through uh, Program Files bl and Blender, uh, there's no scripts folder, and these are not .py files, so we can't just copy-paste all of our Python scripts into here. So what we need to do is do a search. And we're going to want to search at the folder .blender. So go ahead and search that, and the first thing that comes up will be what we want. Uh, it's under Documents and Settings. Uh, so we go in, we have a nice scripts folder there. And here's all the PY files that I have. Uh, I copy-pasted uh, all of the uh, Python scripts from this folder in here. You have to go ahead and unzip this. And I just copy-pasted the entire thing, uh, all the contents of this folder, into the scripts folder. And now if we close all this out and open up Blender, we can see that we can import uh, DNM files and we can also export all the uh, YS flight related things. And additionally, we can go to the scripts mode and see that we have the YS face mode, the replace of colors, the DNM view, all those good things. So I hope this was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if I can't, with my unfamiliarity with Windows machines, as I am a Mac person, uh, I will find someone uh, at YS Flight headquarters who can answer that, and I will uh, ask them for you. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, good luck and happy modding.